I'm Anderson from FuelTech, and we're here today to explain Compound Turbo. We've been helping and working with a few teams how to set up and how to configure and how to tune a compound turbo. And this is one thing, a very important part of the, 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 the project. You need, you need to have an ECU and a data logging that is capable to give you all the information required for that. So let's take a look how a compound turbo works. The idea of the compound turbo is actually split the pressure uh, generation between two turbos. A single turbo is capable of making 70, 80, maybe 90 pounds of boost, but the problem is not how big is the compressor wheel, how big is the turbo or whatever the engine. The problem is like a single turbo cannot compress more than six times or seven times uh, the base atmosphere pressure. So that's where a compound turbo system comes in. Usually we call it external turbo or the atmosphere turbo. Pretty much we uh, compress the air, the ambient air, to two times or three times. So let's say typically you're going to see 29, 30, 40 pounds of boost after the first turbo. And this turbo naturally will be actually running as a very low speed comparing to if this same turbo has to run like a 70, 80 pounds of boost. So this the second turbo, which is the smaller turbo, which is the closest turbo to the engine, that turbo will actually be able to get the 29 pounds of uh, pressure from the first turbo, the bigger turbo, and, com and multiply that boost by a factor of three, let's say, and make 120 pounds of boost safely and without an effort as a single turbo will have to do. So both turbos will be working on a very low effort and the kind of a low speed. We've been seeing like in this rotary, for example, each turbo running at a 60,000 RPM uh, compressor wheel to make like 80 pounds of boost. So this is really smooth and easy for the turbo. This also helps on the back pressure and it helps on how you actually uh, brief the exhaust for the engine. And this is another benefit for, of a compound that you can actually raise or achieve highest boost levels without sacrificing uh, the back pressure with extreme turbo speed. One of the very important parts of a compound turbo system is actually setting up the boost between each wastegate. Each turbo will have its own wastegate and this wastegate will be actually in charge of regulate boost for each turbo. One of the most important sensors on this a compound turbo is actually the turbo speed sensor. With the turbo speed sensor, you are able to know exactly what RPM turbo is actually turning. Sometimes if you don't have a turbo speed, you may be guessing, trying to increase the, 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 the effort of one turbo or the other turbo, but you'll never be really sure where you are on the compressor map. So this is one thing that the fuel tech can do. Any fuel tech from the FT450, the 500, the 550 or the 600 can be connected directly to the fuel tech and, and record both turbos so you can see on the data logger. Another sensor that the fuel tech can read directly, which is the back pressure, 
uh, that the back pressure is when you actually monitor the exhaust pressure on the, on the hot side of the turbo. So it's really nice to have actually both back pressures because you can not only monitor how the turbos are uh, creating back pressure to the engine but how they are splitting that part. So it sounds like a lot of sensors and work but the FuelTag actually makes this really simple because you can add a bunch of those sensors directly to the ECU. The ECU really connects and reads all the sensors uh, into the same. Another important thing is actually how much boost you are, make, are going to make. Any FuelTag ECU has a built-in 87 pounds of boost MAP sensor. This MAP sensor is already installed and is already on the ECU. You don't have to buy any external. But if you're planning to go above 87 pounds of boost, you definitely will be looking to get an uh, external MAP sensor, which we have the, the, the 10 bar MAP sensor, which goes at 135 pounds of boost. So that's plenty of boost to be able to run uh, the, the issue with that kind of pressure. And that's where FuelTech actually been working really hard to have all the technology required to control, to manipulate the turbos, to do everything that's required to make the car run consistently good and still reliable. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy and any questions let us know if you if you want to call us and have a question or how to set up your compound turbo if you fuel tech system give us a call we'll be glad to help